So I bought a bunch of fragrances during Zara's last sale and it's time to open some of them up and these are from Zara's Vibrant Leather Collection. So this is a first impression and not a review. I'm just gonna open these up and share my thoughts on them with you. So let's start with this duo right here which is the original Vibrant Leather and Vibrant Leather Bogos. So the OG Vibrant Leather is very much a Creed Aventus inspired fragrance for super cheap. So I actually already have a bottle of the original Vibrant Leather but in a true Zara fashion which basically means that everything is upside down. This duo on sale was basically cheaper than one bottle of Bogos so I got them both. But I was actually thinking now that I have this sort of a newer bottle of Vibrant Leather to compare this with my older bottle to see if there are any differences between them. So the original basically has three notes, bergamot, bamboo and leather. <sighs> yeah, this is very much heavily influenced or inspired or a clone of Creed Aventus. Now are they exactly the same? No. Is Vibrant Leather very similar to some of the other clones. For example, some of my favorites are Muff Club de Nuit Intense Man, like the EDP and Limited Edition. They are definitely in the same sort of area. They are basically doing the very same thing, but they are not the same. Vibrant Leather is definitely much softer and definitely a lot less sort of in your face than the Club de Nuit Intense Mans. Vibrant Leather sort of reminds me of Mont Blanc's Explorer, but not as sort of a nuanced and layered. Drop a like on this video and let me know in the comments if you want me to do a comparison of Vibrant Leather and all the other Creed Aventus clones that I have. So yeah, I like it. This smells good. It's basically Creed Aventus for cheap. It's definitely not as good as Creed Aventus, but come on. So let's move on to Zara Vibrant Leather. Bogus, Bogus, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know how to say Bogus, Bogus. Yeah, moving on, and I'm really excited about this one because this is supposed to be like a fruity fresh version of it. So the notes in Vibrant Leather Bogus are lemon, pineapple, and cedar. So let's see Bogus, Bogus, how this one smells like. Okay, this is interesting. Definitely freshness, smooth freshness, a bit of fruitiness. Yeah, smooth freshness for sure. And when I say smooth freshness, I mean that in the sense that the lemon in here doesn't come off as too in your face kind of fresh. Yeah, definitely fruity, sweet. And I think it's the pineapple coming through a bit more now that it sort of dries down a bit. And I don't think I have anything that is exactly this kind of combination of fruity, sweet and fresh. So yeah, based on this first impression, I definitely like it. Bogus is definitely a nice sort of a fruity, sweet and fresh scent. It's currently not a love though, but I do think this is a nice one. Let me know in the comments what do you think of Zara Vibrant Leather Bogus and if you think I should do a review of it. Let's move on to Vibrant Leather Intense. Now, I'm not sure, but I believe they're supposed to be two versions of Vibrant Leather Intense. One that I think is discontinued and one I think is still around. One of them is supposed to be a lot more simple, at least note-wise. I think this is the other one, but let's see. So the notes in Zara Vibrant Leather Intense are bamboo, bergamot, black pepper, elemi resin, geranium, leather, lemon, oud, patchouli, Peruvian pepper tree and tobacco. So let's see what this one smells like. Okay, I think this is the one that's not sort of a simple because this feels quite sort of a busy. Woody, a slight hint of freshness, almost something that is sort of an incense-like but not. And definitely something sort of a tobacco-ish. This is very, very different compared to the original. Very different. It's also extremely different compared to Bogus. And I think when it comes to mass appeal, this is definitely not on the same level as those two. And in a way, this is an intense version of it, but intense in a much sort of a deeper, 
warmer and in a way sort of a smoky way. Even though this is a cheapie, I do not think you should blind buy this because this is definitely not as mass appealing as the original. And I think this is the kind of scent that will be either like a hit or a miss. So let's move on to Vibrant Leather Boise. The notes in Vibrant Leather Boise are Labdanum, Incense, Palo Santo and Leather. So let's see what this one smells like. Okay. This is interesting. So yeah, this is very interesting because this, uh, based on the note, I was expecting something that was very, very different compared to at least the original. But I do feel that there's more of the original in Boise than in the Intense. This is like a woodier version of the original. And I mean, it, it does smell good. But I do think I enjoy the original which has that sort of a freshness on top. And yeah, the more this dries down, the woodier it gets. So this is basically like a bit of the OG with a lot more sort of a woodiness to it. I like it, but this is definitely at least based on this first impression, not a love. So in a nutshell, if you like that sort of a vibrant leather DNA, which is basically a Creed Aventus DNA, and want something that is a lot more sort of woody, then this is the one to go for. So let's move on to Vibrant Leather Ensembles. The notes in Vibrant Leather Ensembles are Peruvian Pepper, Olibanum and Elemi Resin. So let's see what this one is all about. Okay, definitely a peppery opening, a sort of a fresh opening, like spicy fresh opening. And to me, it also has like a hint of something that is a bit woody. And I'm not sure if the notes are correct because as this thing dries down. I'm getting a hint, just a hint of the OG in here, but with something that is sort of a slightly smoky, incense leathery and a bit woody. And again, I kind of like it. There's definitely absolutely nothing bad about this one. I'm not sure I find it that exciting though. It smells good, but it doesn't smell great. And it's interesting that I'm getting more of the original, but not a lot of it but more of the original as it sort of dries down. So this was definitely interesting. And having gone through the dry downs of these, I'm gonna rank them just based on this first impression. So let's start with my least favorite, and I'm actually not sure which one to go for because the ensemble feels a bit too sort of flat, at least to me. It lacks some personality. And the Intense being the definitely the richest and sort of the boldest of them all, now that it has dried down, it doesn't smell bad. And there's something in it that I do like, but there's also something that to me is slightly sort of off-putting. So you see, it's a bit hard to choose because one lacks personality, the other one definitely has some, but in a way it's a bit off-putting, so I'm just gonna put both of these on shared last place. On third place comes Zara Vibrant Leather Boise, and the more this dries down, the more sort of incense-y, smoky it gets. I'm definitely not the biggest fan of incense-heavy fragrances. Incense gotta be done the right way in order for me to enjoy it, but this is not bad, but this is definitely not a love. So it really comes down to the original Vibrant Leather and Vibrant Leather Bogos. Now Bogos, Bogos is definitely a solid, fresh, fruity and sweet scent. And I don't think I have anything that is quite like this in my collection. I like it. However, it's hard to beat the original, this Creed Aventus DNA. A bit of freshness, a bit of woodiness, a bit of leather. This just smells good. And while I do enjoy Bogus, I don't think it's anywhere near as good as the OG. So yeah, this was a quick rundown and these two are my favorites. And the OG, at least out of these, is the one I think is the best. Now, I would love to know how you feel about these. Have you tried any of them? Do you think they are bad? Do you think they are good? Comment. <music>